okay. I promised the group uh, a comedy act or something from you guys. <laughs> what, what, what does this mean to you to, to go out at home your senior year this way? Um, yeah, for that, I'll take that first. Um, it, feels, it feels really, really, really good. You know what I mean? We put a lot of work in during, during practice. Like Looney tell you, like we practice hard. And it, it, it's, it's frustrating when you practice so hard and you've been losing, right? And so the biggest thing was it's always the week, the next week, the next week. And so this week we were like, yeah, well, I mean, we're not going to change what we do as far as practice, but we got to find a way to win. So we got to scratch and claw. So especially as seniors too, like I'm, I'm pretty emotional. Like I was almost about to cry today. And so you kind of felt it in the beginning of the game. Like, yeah, I'm going to be emotional, but we got to find a way to win. Like I've put all that to the side and, and find a way to win this game. And I'm glad we did. Yeah, man, I have to agree with Ray Ray. I think this game was a little extra special, though, man. Just being the last one at Memorial, man. I mean, Berkeley's been the greatest experience of my life, man. I thank God for everything he's blessed me with to be able to come out here and go to a prestigious university and just have the years that we had, man. I mean, I've been around great guys. I mean, I played with Jerry Goff, the number one overall pick in the draft, man. I just played, <laughs> played with some of my best friends, like Isaiah Tangalava, man. I mean, Chris Palmer. I mean, guys that you just grow a bond with, man. They become your brothers, become family. And um, I'm just blessed, man. And um, I think I think um, the program's going in the right way, man. And it's just good to get the win and get back on get back on um, the rise. So I mean, we get, we got to get one more, get yeah. get the bowling. I mean, we want to win two more. Got to get the axe, for yeah. sure. I mean, that's that's gonna be big for us, man. I mean, getting that big rivalry game. But I'm mean, gonna enjoy this, man. We got a bye week coming up, so it'll be it'll be a lot of entertainment going on tonight, having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, one pass. Okay. You guys combined for the only sack in the game. Can you tell me uh, what what how the play developed and also uh, just uh, you guys' feeling afterwards, just knowing the two of you had gotten that sack? Yeah, it was a simple. I mean, Ray Ray just jumped in at the end, you know, as he usually <laughs> does. He just always getting in and stealing my sack. But <laughs> you know, I got you there first. And you know, yeah, yeah, you that, is, that is true. Yeah, I mean, Ray Ray Ray's always there, right man at the right time. And I mean, I don't know. We we both played to play well. I mean, right. we had a blitz going on. I mean, we we figured it was past, so we um, partied a little bit. You know, we went up the field a little bit to get that guy to bite, so and we both came underneath, and um, we just were there at the right time. Right. And, I mean, it was good, too, man. You know, just to get, get the sack with the uh, senior fellow, <laughs> it was a good time, man. It was we're great. competitive, too. Like, we, we're both, like, <laughs> trying to – I mean, obviously we were playing as a team, but mm -hmm. somebody got to get to the quarterback, party <laughs> with the quarterback. So, anytime there's a sack – he, he knows. <laughs> you better yeah. get him down before I get yeah. there. There's definitely some running to the stat sheet after the game. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <That's> very, <laughs> you guys uh, saw Nall go for 200 last year against right. you guys. What did you guys do today to, to kind of shut that down? Um, I would think the biggest thing is just the, the leverage tackling. Like, we know what, what kind of team we are, what kind of tackling team we are. We're a shoulder leverage tackling team. So, anytime you get a bigger running back like that, you don't need a – Try and Ray Lewis the dude and like chest him up, you know what I mean? Like if you can, then do it. But it's 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 not always about the big hit. It's about making sure you get him down. And so I think we did a good job of containing them as far as like owning our leverage with our our correct shoulder. So I think that's that's what allowed us to do that today. Yeah, we give it away, man. I mean, last year we just missed too many tackles. And I mean, we let them get to the back. We let them get to the secondary too much. I mean, when you let a big running back like that get to the smaller guys, man, it's hard for them to wrap up. And I mean, when you get a lot of guys to the ball like we did today. We were able to trap them. I mean, because Ryan Nall is a good back, man. He's not the one guy's not going to bring him down. And I mean, he had, he had a good old line too, man. They got some little, got some good push today too. So I mean, you got to get off blocks. You got to you got to assist with guys. And I mean, we found a way to get him down today. And I mean, I'm just thankful because he is a good guy. You guys mentioned the axe and a bowl. Um, uh, there weren't a lot of people on the outside talking about those things this year. Right. Were those realistic expectations for you coming into the season? 100%. And I mean, I, beginning at, the, at the beginning of the season, uh, we just knew coming in we had to have a chip on our shoulder. Like, kind of seems like over the past couple of years, people have always doubted us. I mean, with, with reason. Like, I get it. But they're, they're also not the ones that are inside putting in the work. You know what I mean? The time and, and the extra things. And so. When you have guys like Looney and just seniors, Devontae, and just other guys that have something to prove, it's something that stays with you. And so it's never looking ahead, but just a little bit. You have it in the back of your mind like, yeah, we're going to get the six wins. We're going to find a way, like I've been saying. We're going to find a way to get the X. I don't care if it scores 2-0. Like, we're, <laughs> we're really going to find a way because the, the, the way that we're practicing, <laughs> it's not going to stop. So it's only going to just be elevated. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Uh, guys, with the bye week coming up into the big game, what does the prep look like over a two-week span versus 
just one week. I mean, do you guys, you know, get to celebrate this a little bit longer? Is it more than a 24-hour rule? And then just the prep going into a big game, do you do you let yourself get into the moment a little bit more? Or how does that, how do you hype yourself up over two weeks? Um, I mean, you, you enjoy it, man. I mean, we practice so hard, man. I'm telling like Ray Ray told you earlier, man, we, we practiced, I mean, really, really hard. And I mean, you just, you get, I mean, to have a win like today and to go, go on that bye week with the win, I mean, everybody's happier. You know, the coaches are happier, man. We're coming into meetings happier. Everybody's engaged. And I mean, we got a big week too, Stanford coming up. I mean, if that doesn't get you excited enough, then, I mean, yeah, you're in the wrong sport, to yeah. be honest. But, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think our coaches just do a great job, man. Like when they come up here, you learn football. I mean, every meeting that we go to, I feel like you learn something else with these with these guys. Like Coach Wilcox is just so knowledgeable. I mean, just like I said um, earlier, like we got a bunch of head coaches that you. I mean, head coaches that were head coaches that are now position coaches, like Coach Drew or Coach Baldwin. I mean, these guys are just so experienced. I mean, Coach As, who's been around the game for so long. I mean, you, you just never stop learning, and they always keep they keep you engaged. So it's, it's always a learning process, and it's fun, man. You know, you get to, get to go out there and you learn something from Coach As. He helps you make a play. Right. I mean, you have fun, and then you find joy in it. But um, as far as over the next couple of weeks, I think the biggest thing is going to be recovery, um, kind of eleva ele elevating our football IQ just as we go on. I know we have two weeks left, but you can always get better. So we're going to look at the film as far as Stanford and, and kind of see what they like to do and, and go from there. Thank you. Praise God. Appreciate it.